for you if you want to give a Ooh. Can we change that so it's an English accent? Beyond my capabilities, but I can look into it. <laughs> well, actually, that would be Andrew's call, not mine. <laughs> we'll see. I, I don't want to give you another uh, to-do list item for us to, but thank you for, for offering to look into it. So, okay, um, as we'll get started, welcome everyone. Uh, we will start out with introductions and roll call. Richard, you want to call a roll? I would be happy to. Um, Charles, architect. And as you may recall, this was the, the only day Charles couldn't make it. Great. Uh, building official, Susan Kaufman. Building official alternate, Mark Sneffen. Present. Excellent. Uh, home builder, Damon. And, and Damon uh, had a conflict. We, we, we uh, goofed and we have the fire, take, fire code take going at the same time. So I assume that's where he is. Fire Marshal, Corey. Manufacturer supplier, Todd. Here. Structural engineer, Rob Graper. Fire protection engineer, Chris Seaman. Yeah, you're, you're muted, Chris, but I can see you raise your hand. There it is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's every program, it's in a different spot. I'm here. <laughs> I know. State enforcement, Al Sp Spalding. Here. Special Inspector and Testing Agent, Mike Barth. I'm here. Man, this is great. And General Public, Will Rodriguez. Will, was that you dinging in and out or? Okay, the good news is, uh, is that we, um, you know, as people uh, come in later, uh, did anybody keep track? I don't know if we have a quorum. You've got one, two, three, four, and me, five. Okay, that's five out of 10, so we- It's me, Mark, Todd, Chris, and Mike. Anyone else, uh, did, it, did I miss? I'm, I'm here, Sue Kaufman oh. here. Okay, thank you, Sue, but I, I don't think you, yeah, you no, count Sue just, Mark was here. Yeah, Sue just bumped Mark off. <laughs> yeah. It's a power thing, Sue. <laughs> So we, we're still, well. He's, um, he's here for, <laughs> for support, I'm for sure. Yeah. That's good he's here. <laughs> well, well uh, technically what that happens, Andrew, is that we, we technically do not have a quorum uh, because we're actually five out of 10. However, um, we can just continue and then at, at uh, next week's meeting, just review what we did and, and accept it. Okay, that works. So, um, members of the public, anyone want to introduce yourself and give your affiliation? Hi, I'm Kim Barker with the City of Bellingham, just listening in. Thank you, Kim. Uh, David Rogers with the State Fire Marshal's Office, sitting in for Barb McMullen. Thank you, David. All right. Well, thanks, folks. So next up, let's review and approve the agenda. Pretty quick agenda here as far as number of items. So it should be easy to look through and uh, make a, a motion on. I move to approve the agenda. Zell, Thank you, Chris. Second. second. Zell, second. Thank you. Al, um, all those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Aye. Andrew, so, being, a, being a process guy, um, without a quorum, it really doesn't matter. Um, well, well, Al, Al Spalding, was that you that seconded? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, good. ka -ching. So we've got a quorum now. Thank That's you. Right. Um... Let's see, review. So, review and approve January 20th 
summary minutes. Um, did you get those posted? I don't see them. Richard. Well, I sure hope so. Um, I thought we posted, I, I know it was late, but I thought we posted them yesterday. Okay, if not, we can pull them up here. They're, yeah. they're pulled up. Krista's doing right. your usual excellent job. Looks good to me. Um, everyone else look good. You want to make a motion? Motion to approve. Thank you. A second. Second. Thank you. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All righty, that passes too. Um, let's see. So now it's on to the business. Review existing statewide amendments. Um, so it's staff, um, Richard, you were chapter zero. Uh, would you like to start out? <laughs> it, was, it was a natural choice. Um, <laughs> We'll wait until Krista scrolls up. And and uh, just a quick overview of the process is, uh, oh, there's no way to see them. Well, yeah, there is. I need to move this out of the way. There we go. Um, the only one that uh, really uh, authority, and, and again, if you click on these hyperlinks, uh, you'll see uh, my, th this is my, my recommendation. Um, so certainly you can challenge it. Uh, 515003 uh, just has the code model, the model code uh, number on it. Uh, this is the one that uh, uh, is an issue, uh, uh, double lot five accessibility. Uh, this is uh, the 21 code is now referencing the 2017 uh, edition of, of the accessibility uh, ICC A117.1. Uh, which requires larger turning circ. Uh, it, it, it takes into account scooters. Um, and uh, if this is left at the 09 edition, uh, references will also need to be changed. So, so this is one that, that when we open it up for uh, statewide amendments, I'm sure we're going to get amendments asking to stick with the 09. Uh, we just have to make sure that that's linked to this uh, WAC. Now, Richard, um, now chapter 11 is a safe harbor for the ADA. If we stick with the 09, are we still compliant? I think the most recent ADA was what, 2007? Is Se that correct? 17. No, 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 ADA, not um, 117. Oh, 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 ADA. Yeah, uh, and, and uh, Andrew, that, that safe harbor clause is actually in is in constant dispute. Uh, uh, fortunately, there, there haven't been challenges, but 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 um, there are challenge. Uh, I don't know if uh, the seventeen is actually has the um, secretary. I can't remember who's a, uh, attorney general. I don't. I'm not sure if whoever whoever is responsible for ADA. Um, that'd be the Department of Justice. So. Thank you, thank I you. Attorney uh, General. I, I need to do my research, but I, I'm I'm not sure that they bought off on this. Okay, I've always heard that. I assumed um, that that was the case, but but anyway, the most recent ADA update, I believe, was 2007. Is that correct? And if that is the case, then if we stick with the 09 addition of a 117.1 will still be fine can i can i say something sure thank you so uh, uh the ada standards are uh, 2010 uh, ada standards and uh, 2010 ada standards don't refer to ansi uh, uh, they have the adac which is the technical requirements and uh, in chapter uh, one and two, they have uh, the DOJ, Department of Justice, uh, administrative provisions and the scoping. So ANSI is not, is not there as a safe harbor. The safe harbor is used under a Fair Housing Act uh, and uh, HUD has uh, safe harbors for compliance with the FHA requirements. 
but with with the ADA uh, is is different. Uh, uh, chapter 11 of the building code adopts by reference ANSI uh, 2017, uh, you know, in, two, in 2021 uh, building codes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you were right. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, with HUD, that was the safe harbor. Thank you. Um, okay. Sorry, Richard. Continue. No, no. Um, but, but what we do, uh, we do need to leave this meeting with the TAG recommendation on these things. Um, and uh, actually I, I'm staff, but in this one, I'm also the proponent is uh, I, I would recommend that I would recommend the TAG recommendation is to stick with the model code, which would be to up it to the, to the uh, 17. And, and that uh, in effect uh, leaves it open for statewide amendments. Uh, if, if we don't do that, we we're well, quite frankly, we're gonna have an, an issue uh, unless we also uh, amend the reference section uh, from this tag moving. So this this and the reference section need to match whether it's the 09 or the 17. Okay. Yeah. I would say, does anyone else wanna chime in because we're going over chapter 11 too. Yeah. Um, and most of those changes were due to the update of uh, A117.1, so. Yeah, yeah Andrew, if I, or. Sure. Alan. Sorry, Chris. Okay, uh, I was going to say, I would like, I would, I agree with Richard that we should stick with the current, uh, the update to the more current ANSI. But uh, if we anticipate that people are going to submit amendments to try to back off of some of that stuff, we should reach out to whatever council we have available with the state to provide guidance on uh, what the impacts might be to us if we do. Like, can we legally back off without getting ourselves in trouble? Um, and so then that way, when those amendments do come forward and we have to weigh in on them, we'll have an answer from legal counsel already what our options are. Thank you, Chris. Al? Yeah, well, if I can get this I'm all tangled up here. If I, um, I remember, I don't remember well enough, but there was a sp specific reason why we didn't, in the 2015 change to the current A117, there was quite quite a kerfuffle about that. Um, a lot of yeah, that was the 2011 edition, if I remember correctly. I I want to say 2013 or something like that. But um, <clears throat> I just was that has that been addressed? I mean, even even uh, even the 2015. Uh, codes didn't reference the current ICC there anyways I can't remember but I there was there was quite a bit of uh, I think the changes in maybe not in the 2017 but the changes in the the, the one previous to that uh, had considerable cost implications but I can't remember exactly why um, I just want to make sure that I'm I'm fine with going with Richard's um, I would support Richard's um, proposal to, to update it, but we may need to be prepared for some, uh, um, that could be contentious. Uh, uh, hey, Richard, this is yeah. Jennifer Gilliland. Yes. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna say much. I'm mostly just listening today because Micah could make the meeting, but um, yeah, I mean, it's the 2017 edition of A117. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of hesitation uh, to move to that because of costs. And I'm not entirely certain what they are, except that, um, you know, I think some of the clearances are increased, yeah. um, it, you know, in s some certain areas. And um, I would think that we would really need to have a really thorough discussion about that. Uh, you know, before I, I'm not even sure what Seattle's position is on that, except that John Sue said before he left that, you know, that it would be pretty, it would be a pretty big jump in terms of expenses. Jennifer, the biggest, uh, you know, as far as clearances go, going from 60 uh, inch turning radius, I think it was to 67 inch, it's either 66 or 67, but yeah, that's significant, especially in apartments. 
Um, I know that we'll have pushback from the home builders, but I mean, I, I'm in agreement we should push through for the 2017 and then, you know, entertain anything as it comes in. So anyone else want to make any comments on that generally, since it, it will affect a lot more in the meeting? We'll get it out now. All righty, Richard. All right, um, the next one, uh, uh, double lot seven. Uh, Krista, could you click on that? I don't remember what it was. Dun, 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 dun. All right, this, 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 thank you. Thank you, Krista. The, the, these exemptions are actually statutes or in response to, to statutes. Now we need to go back to the, to the list. Uh, implementation is just the, the uh, this year is a really bad example, but generally July 1st of, uh, of the year is when we, <laughs> the effective date. So this is to put it, hopefully we'll be back on schedule. Then this last one, um, and this is another one I'll ask Krista to bring up, is uh, recyclable materials. I, I, personally, I think this is lost uh, where it's currently located. Uh, it, it shows up on our insert pages, and it also shows up uh, um, if you had bought the model code with Washington Amendments. However, this is not where you would expect to be looking for this information. Right. Did, if they're definitions, they should go in chapter two. Andrew, I really like that suggestion. Uh, if you suggest the, the, the entity responsible for this chapter put together a proposal to move these into definitions, um, that'll be ready for your next meeting to look at. Um, I'll make the motion. Well, I don't know if we have to be that formal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay. Yeah. So here, yeah. Here, here is when Krista brings the, the list back up. Um, so what I would like is uh, for uh, double lot one, uh, take recommendation, uh, agree. Uh, double lot two, agree. Double lot three, agree. Double lot uh, five is, is covered. Um, double lot seven, agree. Double lot eight, um, agree. And double lot nine, uh, Chris, I actually just put it in there for you. Richard will draft proposal to move this into the, body of the code so so i have a i have a comment on that um there's a requirement in there so it's not just a definition it's a requirement for for them to provide um uh garbage cans so it, you know it's not yeah. just a definition so where do we put the requirement i will come up with a proposal i would probably say chap yeah chapter four Chapter four. <laughs> Sue, that that thank you. That's a very good point because you do not want to put requirements in in with definition. Sure. Could, could you pull that back up? Is that a? I'm just curious. It doesn't affect what you're doing. Is that a requirement that it be provided, or just if it's provided, um, that it be appropriate? Uh, storage shall be designed to meet to provide. Yeah, we we. Uh... We require, the, require it for new buildings um, when we um, plan review. Okay, I was unaware that was there. That's good. That's my point, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that's wonderful. I, I mean, we don't, yeah, a lot of areas are not in compliance with that. City of Pasco, you know, does not, uh, but I guess that doesn't require them to pick it up. Never mind. 
but 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 anyway, this was not caught for the uh, 18 review. So so anyway, huh. if we can go back to to the spreadsheet, uh, Andrew, it, it's it's your call. But I would suggest for each chapter, the TAG vote uh, on the uh, TAG's recommendation. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, yeah, if anyone has any discussion items, please you know bring them up. Otherwise, um, if not, we'll give it like five seconds. Um, and then I'll entertain a motion. Um, can I ask a question about uh, the 005? Sure. So with that, um, what's the 20, what's the 2017 um, state compared to 2009? That's the one where the primary change is in, uh, the, the primary change is that it um, it accommodates scooters um, and, and all the ramifications of that. Um, it also, and I do recommend uh, taking a look at it because it's pretty generous on when this applies as far as remodels, uh, new construction you're in, but, but, but for remodels, uh, it, it's fairly lenient. Uh, actually, that's, I'm sorry, that's an editorial. Um, uh, and, and again, the reason why this didn't happen at the 18 adoption is because uh, when the 2018 model codes were being written, this itself was still in the review process. Um, and uh, much to my surprise, we did not receive any, any statewide proposals for the 18 code to look at the 2017 edition. Um, so, and, and the, the, again, I, I could be wrong, but to me, the uh, looking at it, the number one cost impact was just square footage because of clearances. Okay, thank you. Sure. Any other questions or comments? All right. Anyone want to make a motion <laughs> to, to throw out all, uh, all of uh, <laughs> Richard's work? No, 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 you want the motion going the other way. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that, I'll entertain that motion too. Uh, I'll, motion. Make, I'll make a motion um, that we um, accept these comments as recommendations and allow Richard to move forward with drafting a proposal for uh, 009. Motion to second. Thank you. All those in favor? Please say aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. All right, beautiful. Uh, okay, chapter one, that was you, Sue, correct? Yes, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> no, I have no, to no click worries. the unmute button for like three times to get to work. Um, yeah, luckily we didn't have a we only had one amendment to this, so it was a really easy, easy job. Um, uh, I did notice there's like four section titles that have changed in the new, the 2021 20, uh, code. So um, there's, um, let's see, Go to the top here. Um, oh, okay, 101 is called scope and general requirements. Um, 103 is called code compliance agency. 107 is called construction documents. And one 13 is called means of appeals. I have it marked up on a on the insert pages if you want me to send that to you, but. Um, okay. Well, question is would they, uh, Richard, does that require um, us to do anything or that just comes in, you know, it automatically updates? No, that, unfortunately that's a reflection of me not clearly uh, uh, outlining the, the exercise that we're doing right now. 
Uh, okay. Well, what, it what just that it, it the the, out, the index or the definitions were showed up on our insert pages. So it, um, sure. No. No. So, it, 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 and that that's definitely an issue because of the next the next look we're looking at uh, significant changes. Yeah. Okay. However, uh, for for this exercise today, it is really just changes okay. to the wax themselves. Right. No. Okay. I I did just want to mention that. Um, so I uh, again I um, as far as in in the chapter, um, the one amendment we have um, is not affected. It's it's on one hundred eight point one general, and um, it has to do with. Uh, building official being authorized to issue permit for temporary structures. Um, so I, I don't recommend any any changes to that. Um, I think we should continue. You know, the the one thing that we have is we have this exception to allow unheated tents and yurts under 500 square feet. So um, I don't recommend any changes. I, I did have one question. Um, they in 103.1. They kind of changed um, the the way they refer to, um, you know, the building department or something is hereby created and the official in charge thereof. Um, so in the 2021 code, they're saying insert name of department and and nor and before it was like Department of Building Safety. And I don't know if if we have any, um, you know if we if we're just okay with insert you know requiring the jurisdiction to insert the name of your department or if we wanted to have something more specific well Stu, when you guys adopt um, a lot of the other codes is that pretty common or would it uh, I, I've never I've never had to <laughs> I've never had to to do that or, or at least not paid attention to it but yeah it says okay. you're supposed to now now you're supposed to insert the name of your department versus before it was a standard language of department of building safety so, so this is richard and, and, and this is a little bit like hurting cats um th those are actually opportunities for statewide amendments um okay uh, That's I why mean, I questioned it. <laughs> no, no, no. I think I think it's great, and this is a good conversation to have, especially right out of the shoot. Um, is is this exercise is really just to talk about amendments, and do we want to make recommendations yeah. for amendments? You know, generally, this is now covered by code uh, or the model code, or um, no longer necessary because of X, Y, Z. Yeah. Uh, the, the changes that you're discussing are actually uh, would be something that you, as a uh, actually any entity. Uh, during the open uh, period for um, amendment proposals to submit. Yeah, yeah, but as far as the one amendment that we do have in there, uh, yeah, um, cat has been herded, and that's the that I don't do not recommend any changes. I, I'm Ow. sorry, Stu, that was a bad analogy. <laughs> I love cats. <laughs> So yeah, I, I'm I'm good. So that's that's all my my comments then. <laughs> but I so did no just want to bring up. To, this is my first time, first uh, sure. rodeo. So I, I thought I'd bring up these other items that I noticed. So well, I think you did great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anyone have any questions or comments? And if not, we can entertain a motion. Sue, you want to do the honors? <laughs> <laughs> this is Mike, I'll make the motion to accept those. Thank you, Mike. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Sue. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? And we're good. So on to definitions, Damon, are you ready? Um, I believe so. Oh, Damon, you're here? Yes. Oh, great. Yeah, I, um, I got my building code book yesterday. So I think Richard helped me out with a little bit, but I think uh, mass timber and uh, non-combustible protection for mass timber were, um, two of the um, problem definitions. Damon, this is Todd. 
May yeah, I jump yeah. in? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, no, go ahead. John Sue called me out. He's absolutely right. I I was going, I was having flashbacks to the ad hoc committee and in denial that I, I didn't want that in there, but it is in there to my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> so um, so just to be clear, the to my understanding, the mass timber definition and the non-combustible material for mass timber is both in the 2021 word for word as we put it in the amendments for 15 and 18. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm looking at the 21 code book right now. They're both, both definitions are in there. I mean, is it in comparison to like the state of amendment? The, the state amendment was word for word to what was put into the 2021. So no change, roll it over. Yeah, yeah no change. I'm sorry, this is my first, uh, first go at it guys. So I'm still wrapping my head around it. So were those the only two amendments we had in uh, the state? Well, no. I believe so. Okay. And Damon, this is Richard. We we also uh, wall load bearing is uh, is currently a state amendment, but is uh, word for word now in the model code. Okay. Right. Thank you. Well, that's easy. Anyone have any comments or questions? If not, I'll entertain a motion and uh, Damon, feel free to do the honors if, if you'd like. Yeah, uh, I move to accept this as, um, sorry, I don't know what, what the content of the motion is going to be. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, good question. I, I move guess. to accept uh, the tag members' recommendations as the tag recommendation. Yeah, it works. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Uh, second. I guess between uh, Damon and Chris, they're uh, the first and second. So all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say nay. And beautiful. All right. So now we're up to chapter 11, which is accessibility. That's my section. And I think it should go pretty fast, even though it looks big. Most the changes are basically the changes that have come out of A117.1. So if you go down to, there you go. If you stop there. Um, so uh, public entrances with power operated doors, it now requires um, in certain occupancies to have um, uh, power operated front doors, um, facilities with occupant loads greater than 300 in assemblies and 500 in business, mercantile and R1. Um, so that seems perfectly reasonable. Um, next one. Uh, Public, so yeah, public entrances, uh, parking, uh, loading, and facilities. Um, that added a new se uh, section 1107 for motor vehicle related facilities. Um, and that deals basically with uh, electric vehicle charging stations and making sure that they're accessible. Um, so that that's just new technology that is now addressed. Um, for group I dwelling units, they added some exceptions in there for the accessible units in uh, I1s, which, uh, um, let's see, not more than 50%. Roll on and share. Um, so, so yeah, it, there were exceptions in there if at least 50% uh, of the accessible units um, have, um, I think, roll-in showers or, um, 
such water or uh, accessible water closets, they don't need to meet the 4% um, requirement above that. Sorry, that, uh, I thought I understood that, but now that I'm looking at it, I think my understanding was not exactly what it's saying. But uh, send one dwelling unit, sleeping unit, accessible. Um, so a subsection here was added in for group um, I1, and it looks like it was due to the um, uh, new groups for uh, um, eyes and for I1 condition two, um, it states at least 10%, but not less than one of the dwelling units and sleeping units must be accessible uh, with a couple exceptions in there. So um, I'm chalking that up to the new conditions in there, which the accessibility is now catching up to. I think the conditions were added in the 2015 code, if I remember correctly to the institutional occupancies. Um, so um, again, because of 117.1's uh, changes in the newest edition, um, all of these from here forward, um, I recommend that they're reasonable, but I, I'll go through them. Uh, just briefly, for the next one for type B units, the change was really just in flood hazard areas um, that type A and B units are required for buildings without elevator service that are located in flood hazard areas um, where the minimum required elevation of the lowest floor level um, is uh, results in a difference of elevation between the minimum required floor elevation um, and primary entrance and vehicle pedestrian points within 50 feet exceeding 30 inches um, or a slope exceeding 10% uh, between the minimum floor elevation at the primary entrance and the vehicle and pedestrian arrival points within 50 feet. So, those were already in there. Um, I think what was added was just the flood hazard area specific um, to that because that's where um, you usually run into those conditions uh, bringing up the uh, first, the, the, what, what would be the ground floor, um, which gets raised. Uh, let's see, the nursing homes I2. Other facilities, so toilet, 1108. Yeah, let's see, 1108. So yeah, we, we dealt with that already. That was up in um, 1107.5. Which um, Chris, if you can scroll down just a little bit. Okay, thank you. So, okay, so type A units because we were just on B. Uh, da -da -da, units six to two. So changes to the type A units were to be A units. I didn't see many changes to the A's. Uh, Andrew? Yeah, go ahead. This is Richard. Um, I, I, I'm at a a bit of a loss on uh, the direction. Uh, are you uh, recommending that these amendments are okay as written or are you recommending that they be modified? No, I, I'm recommending that they're all 
they're all okay as okay. written. All right, thank you. Because they were brought over from A117.1. So Excellent. I was thank just uh, doing Andrew, my best. Andrew, can I clarify his question a little bit? Sure. These are sections that we have state amendments on. Are you suggesting that we modify our state amendments to incorporate the new language, but keep the state amendments or keep the state amendments as they're currently um, written, written mm -hmm. and uh, not bring over the new changes for the 2021? So it looked like the amendments. Um, Perhaps I didn't understand when I was going through. Um, I was comparing what we had in there to the new code. I may need to go back through things. Um, Andrew, this is Richard. That, that, that actually was the task, is to, to look at the current uh, amendment language and is it still valid uh, with the new code, uh, with the 2021 code, or should it be modified to reflect changes in the 2021 code? Okay. I misunderstood, which is not good being the chair. I thought we were looking at the changes specifically in the 2021 to make sure that we wanted to adopt all of those changes. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Um, yeah, let me come back next time. I apologize on that one. I screwed that up. Um, but yeah, let's see, chapter 14, exterior walls. Let's, let's go to that if Chris, if you're ready for that. And then yep. let me let me take a look through maybe I can catch up um, after by the time you finish, Chris. All righty, let me grab my notes here. Um, do we have who did this last year for 14? Because they uh, should be fired. <laughs> well, 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 then it was Andrew. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, I, no, I don't, um, know who, I don't know who it was. <laughs> All right, I'll, so, I'll pack my bags, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> there are two... Uh, so the first one, um, the 1403, there are no changes in the model code between the 2018 and the 2021. So I recommend that we don't do anything about it unless somebody feels the need to eliminate the amendment and that comes through another way. Um, the 1406, there there's two 1406s in our code right now. Yeah. <laughs> this is where the, somebody messed up. We missed it last time. Um, so it needs to move. I recommend that it moves to 1405.2. That seems like a good place to me. Done. And there was nothing else added to the 2021 that would have accommodated that amendment that we do have. Sorry, I'm also directing kindergarten right now. Um, Good for you. <laughs> but that's hey, that's it. Uh, hey, Chris. Yes. Chris, all right, so you're saying eliminate both of them and nope. then well, move, I guess, eliminate one and move one to 1405.2. No, I'm saying uh, there were no changes in the model code right. on 1403. So it, we, we don't, I don't recommend we do anything um, unless somebody submits a code change proposal in the future about it. Um, and then on 1406, uh, there are literally two 1406s in our code right now, right. which is super confusing. Um, so I suggest we move that all of that language to 1405.2 because that seems like a good home for it. It seems okay. like it fits in the context of that section. Okay.
Mm. Thank you, Chris. Um, um, I, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Andrew. This this is Richard. I, I need to. Uh, we we've addressed the overlap um, of the of the two fourteen oh sixes, but I'm pulling up, uh, and, and that unfortunately the the wax have not caught up. Okay, nope. Uh, exactly what Chris said is the right way to take care of this. There, if you look at, uh, if you click on the thing, there is now only one fourteen oh six. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I was in the the published book on the ICC site. Oh, there, oh, two. yeah. No, that that that's wrong. And that's yeah. uh, <laughs> you know the best laid plans of nice mice and men. That, that's why I provided <laughs> yep. the links. Perfect. Um, so it, it's now fourteen oh six point three. And Chris is recommending, uh, I've got too many things open. Sure. And, and Chris, you were recommending that that be renumbered. Yeah, 1406 is just not a, okay. a good spot for it. I don't think, uh, I think 1405, the amendment has to do with um, projections on exterior walls. Um, and yep. 1406 Excellent. just is not a spot for that. I, I, I not, not that it matters, but I, I agree. Mike, on, on an editorial note, not to digress, but the uh, the copy of 2018 state amendments, the insert pages, don't include anything for 1406. So perhaps I have an old, uh, old edition or that or the current version doesn't include that amendment. Mike, um, do you have a date on when you printed that bad boy off? That's what I'm, let's see which printing. Uh, well, it just says first edition. Hey, it came off the, um, it would have come off the uh, State Building Code Council website. Yep. I had uh, the same experience and I grabbed it. Yeah. yesterday yeah. so i think it's just missing that amendment the uh, yeah, inserts because just... we're we're on the fourth printing of the uh insert pages so let me just quickly check and because i have so many screens open which section am i yeah. looking for well sorry i didn't mean to hijack this on that it's just no uh, no let's just let's let's this is great because we can fix this bad yeah bit. so it just has the right people <laughs> 1406 hang on 1402 Okay, you're right. There's no 1406 anything. So uh, we will fix that. Thank you. I think it may be helpful to add some editorial on those insert pages because the intent is not to replace 1406 with our WAC. It's to, it's an additional 1406, right? Uh, I, I don't want to do this on the fly, Chris. I have to okay. actually look into it. Sure, but it just uh, that's just a thought to think of. Yeah. Could it be a subsection? No, no, no. We can't do anything about the, the WAC that exists today. I'm just recommending how we would communicate that to the public with the inserts. It, okay. It, it works in the, the code that is published on ICC. It's clear. They both exist, so it's okay. Thank you. Alrighty. Any questions or comments? Wonderful job, Chris. Um, I will entertain a motion. Motion to approve Chris, Mr. Siemens recommendations. Beautiful, second. Second. Thank you, Mike. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? All righty. Um, that passes. And now we've got. Andrew, may I just make a comment? Yep. 
I believe the section number that is in question is referenced in 705.2. So just a note that if it is referenced, we want to make sure that that gets updated accordingly too. You are great. Okay. <laughs> Good point. Thank you. Chapter 11 or Appendix N? Um, I'm going to need to come back on Chapter 11 next time. I apologize. Um, Chris, are you? Um, oh, yeah. Here for N? Absolutely okay. ready. There Thank are you. no amendments in Chapter N. <laughs> easy. All right. I, I don't think we need to take any uh, recommendations to the council on that. Would you agree, Richard? <laughs> Since there's nothing to do. So I, I'm, uh, I'm, I apologize. I've got way too many things open. I'm looking for my copy of the agenda, just to make sure we hit the chapters today. And uh, yeah. Andrew, as, as I mentioned, we uh, are looking for volunteers <laughs> to present their chapters at the upcoming uh, TAG meetings? Yes. So we did hit everything except mine. I came unprepared. I'm sorry. Do you want to move that um, to next week? Yeah. No, I should, no, I need to get it done. <laughs> Let me, I will, I'll commit to that next week. I will have more time definitely to spend going through everything. And, and Andrew, although I will not be here, I, I will leave uh, the double lot five, I think I can't remember what it was, uh, proposal uh, for, for, the, for this take to consider at the next meeting. Okay, thank you. And yeah, if, uh, if you wanna present next week, speak up. Um, otherwise we may have to, Volunteer people. <laughs> I think me and Al were set up for uh, chapter 10 next week already. Yeah. And I think I have uh, three and do I have three and four next week as well? I'll have to, I'll have to look at the I'll have to look at the schedule. Yep. Yeah, Richard and Estoyan, um, this is Todd. Did, did I drop the ball on getting access to 2021 codes? Is that something I haven't taken action on? Uh, uh, let me follow up. Which ones do you want, hard copy or um, uh, PDFs? Oh, I think the PDFs, please. OK. Now, but, but my. Bigger point then is I'm already ready to go, but I just I haven't taken the time to get access yet. So, thank okay. You. Well, well, if you have not received an email from Shannon, then uh, no, you don't have them yet. But, yes. but Todd, as a council member, um, do you want any of, the, any of the other codes at the same time? Okay, I'll follow up offline. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Now I'm trying to look to see who we had signed up next week for. Um, Cap, oh, sorry. I'm hey, Richard. Uh, this is Damon. I think I'm doing five and thirteen next week. Yes. Uh, next week we have three, four, five, and ten, and now eleven. And on the tenth we have seven. And <laughs> um, I do uh, 13 on the 10th. Declare. I can jump in on this is Todd. I can I can put six on the schedule somewhere a week or two out or two weeks out at least. Well, on your on your piece of paper, we've got February 3rd, February 10th, February 17th, and February 24th. We do have a meeting scheduled for March 3rd but we'd like to re reserve that for cleanup. So 24th, I could do, I could do chapter 12 on the, on the 10th. I won't be here next week. Okay. Also, Richard, I'm doing chapter 29 on the 10th. Okay.
Richard, sure, let's volunteer Will for 27 <laughs> next week. 27 on the third? Sorry, 20, 27 next week. Okay. So next week we have uh, the third, four, five, 10, 11, and 27. That, that's a pretty full slate. Okay. Yeah. But we still don't have anything for the uh, 17th or the 24th. Uh, Andrew, uh, with your permission, uh, staff can, can just assign what's left and notify the members uh, or uh, the, yeah, the, the, the take members. And then they can yeah. say, hey, I can't make that day or um, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, if, if you guys want to put everything in, leaving the last one open, just in case uh, we run into, into any issues like I had, um, you know, sure. we need one extra week. Yep, and, and, and that is currently March 3rd, is the, the uh, open, open meeting to pick up or to clean up. Perfect. All right. Um, any, anything else for the good of the order? All right, I'll give everyone three hours of their life back. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you all next week. Thank you so right. much. Thank you. Yep. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Get out.